This is the fuel pump that is on my transfer tank on the back of my one ton truck. GPI, the proven choice. Uh, there's all the information there. But it stopped working and when I pulled it apart to see what the problem was is one of the magnets had come unglued from the side of the casing. So I did some research, found the Loctite. The 326 is a good uh, adhesive for ferrous material, for, for magnets to, to cases. So what I'm gonna do now is measure I need to clean this out, number one. A lot of moisture, corrosion. So in uh, trying to clean this up, I ended up knocking the other magnet loose. So what I'm going to do is measure from the bottom of here where this slides down onto that case and measure the distance from the lip to where the magnets need to be. And then that way I get them put back in, in the proper location. And then uh, yeah, clean this all up, glue the magnets, and then I can take and put the motor back together. We're looking at three quarters of an inch to the start or the bottom of the magnet. And that looks like it's about centered So what I'll do is put the glue on the magnet and then try to center the magnet in there at that line. <laughs> try to get it right about where it was at before. Let's work on that last magnet, get it on this far side. I guess I should cover it right now. This is uh, the brush pile that's left in there was the cutoffs from the sawmill. The uh, what's left of that maple tree from an earlier video that I cut down that had all of the uh, English ivy on it. And then also what's left of a cedar tree that I cut down. Now I've got a, a, some maple logs and a cedar log to put on the sawmill later, but uh, just trying to get rid of this pile. And so you'll see the smoke. No, nothing is on fire on the truck. It's smoke from that big wood pile. All right. Because I could not find any of that Loctite, I had to order it, mail order it, and then I got it in to order online that is adhesive so I took a trash bag and covered up my motor pump and everything to protect it what I'm going to do now is go ahead and turn the electricity on to it and see if our motor works and when I turn it on we're watching for that little shaft right there to spin. From a previous video I had done on this, you could see the upfitter electrical switches on the dash on the Super Duties, and I took run the wires to that so I got to turn a switch on the inside as well as this one here there we go it's about time for me to drain this filter it's got the clean out on the bottom so we put that back together I'll show you the bottom of this plate it's got the rubber seal around it
that. We look like we're good. There we go. I don't see any leaks anywhere. Well, I think I just discovered another use for this Loctite 326. These magnets don't stick too well on the back side of these stainless steel dishes that you get at the auto parts store. Scrape that off. So let's put a good dose of this 326 on there. And remember it's three minute set time. And you just take and push this down to seal it. And wipe off the tip. And then the cap. Just take and squeeze it back, pop it into place. And take this dish. Let's give it three minutes. Well, once again, back here on the farm, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully this will help somebody out there that's having the same problem and spend, instead of spending a couple hundred dollars replacing it, you can see it really is an easy fix that you can do yourself. The hardest part is finding an adhesive that will work with uh, gluing magnets back into place uh, now you know uh, how to use that Loctite, what it looks like. It was my first time using it. Uh, I may never ever have to use that stuff again, but I looked on YouTube, I looked on the internet trying to find out what to use, how to use it, and was not successful in, in finding any information. So once again, hopefully this will help somebody out there. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for what's happening here on the farm next. And uh, we do appreciate you. It's a couple days before Christmas. So those who are watching this before Christmas, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. God bless.